Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Today we're working on a 2010 club car precedent that I found on Marketplace. Come along for the ride, let's see if we can make this thing run. I'm Jeff, welcome to Cart Crazy. Alright, here's your first look. Um, Jordy's already making himself at home here. Um, he always tries to drive, but um, there's always that problem with, uh, you know, steering and reaching the pedals and everything all at once. So I guess he'll just have to be a passenger for now until we can figure something else out. So the idea behind this cart is I need something for myself. I've been saying that over the last, I don't know, three or four, and I end up selling them because I always want another project to do. And I don't even know if this thing runs, so um, that's kind of where we're at. Although, you know, club car precedent, they're pretty tough. I'm not, not too concerned about it, um, unless it was towed in the run position or something crazy like that. But here's the story on it. Uh, I actually found it on Marketplace, and it was listed, I can't remember, 3000 or maybe 3500 and it said, brand new batteries, but it might need a charger. And I thought, well, that's kind of strange. Um, you know, maybe they bought batteries thinking the batteries were uh, bad and evidently it was the charger or something like that. So anyway, um, did some messaging back and forth. Come to find out it was right around the corner from my house. And went over and looked at it. And the gentleman said, yeah, we bought brand new batteries. Uh, well, let me back up a second. I walked up. It was at a storage unit. And the charger was plugged in, okay? And he said, yes, they're brand new batteries, but they're seven years old and it's been plugged in. So I think by the amount of dust and everything that's on it and from the story that he was giving me, it literally was at the storage unit plugged in for the last seven years. Okay, so they basically cooked the batteries that are in it. And I said, um, well, let me show you. So I opened up underneath and everything looks real clean. There's not a lot of corrosion or anything. Um, and I told the gentleman, I said, well, you had new batteries. Um, they left it plugged in. Can you see down in there? I don't know if there's any water in them. They're absolutely stone dead. Could they be revived? My guess is probably not. I think there's a possibility. But it doesn't matter because you all know how much I hate lead-acid batteries anyway. So um, I said, look, the cart needs batteries most likely you know I'm pretty sure these are shot after being plugged in and basically just boiled all the water out and the charger just kept going probably until um, you know it just fried either the batteries and or the charger so um, talked them down a little bit um, actually got it for uh, 2000 which uh, in today's market is pretty good a 1500 would have been a little bit better but I know in today's market these are hard to find uh, so it's white top, white seats, uh, which are going to go away, of course, um, but I'll reuse those for another project. We'll save the body. It's got a nice um, uh, color body on it. It's not tan or something ugly, so we'll save that for another project. It does have headlights and taillights. The wheels and tires are just kind of the ugly club car, um, but I'll save those. Actually, the tires, I was looking at them, are in really good shape. They still have the little knobbies on them, so... Just by looking it over and looking underneath, the cart has very, very low use. Um, definitely not muddy or like it was abused or anything like that. So it's a real, real good starting point. Um, kind of similar to that 2017 that I had that I was going to keep for myself. Um, just super clean. The plastics are in really good shape. They can be cleaned up and kind of brought back to life. Um, a lot of this probably won't get used. I'm probably going to put the mods tower top on like I did the other one. but. Overall, just in real good shape. So, first order of business is yank these lead acids out of here. Uh, hopefully not uh, tear my shoulder out of socket in the process because these things are so heavy. And then, of course, um, I procrastinated too long. Um, I'm going to put a big battery, uh, 105 amp hour in there. I did not get it ordered in time. And, of course, those are billed to order, so it takes about... Well, anywhere from one to three weeks to get it in, and I wanted to get started on it uh, this weekend, so I went down to my local club, uh, well, no, actually a golf cart dealer, not even a club car dealer, and got an Eco Battery, um, 
nothing against big battery or anything like that. In fact, I've got a big battery sitting there for uh, a 36 volt. I needed a 48. I needed it in a pinch. I paid way too much for it. They're a lot more expensive than the big battery, but because I'm impatient and I procrastinated, um, I just figured I would grab that. Worst case scenario, I'll pull that out and use it on another project when I get my big battery in or, or whatever. But I just wanted to get it going, so um, you know, don't think I'm jumping ship on big battery or anything like that. I still like them. They're still a great company, still a great product. So we'll give this one a whirl and um, see where we're at. First thing I'm going to do, like I said, is pull the batteries out and then we will uh, give it a good pressure wash. Well that took all of about three minutes. Um, pulled it out of the box, dropped it down in there, didn't have to cut anything. It fit right in and check this out. It's actually got a hole right through with this plate so you can use the original mounting hardware you don't even have to make your own mounting hardware um, yeah pretty slick actually and uh, whoops I see I forgot my, uh, my negative lead but we'll throw that on there quick uh, for the lights to work anyway um, let's uh, let's go for a drive here see if it works Turn the battery on. Key is on. Okay, we're moving. All right, let me clean up a couple things. Uh, throw that negative cable on quick and see if we got lights and go for a drive. Okay. Here's another learn from Jeff being in a hurry, mistakes, and not paying attention. So don't do what I just did. Uh, I kept saying negative on this, um, which was wrong. Uh, I, I realized that. That's uh, the positive for our lights. Not even thinking about it, figuring this car had a built-in uh, voltage reducer, not paying attention to how they had it wired close enough before. They had it wired to 16 volts on the old system. Don't have a voltage reducer. I popped that on my 48, turned the lights on while well, they lasted about one second and blew the bulbs because it's 48 volts. Not a huge deal because all of that's coming off anyway and uh, easy enough probably to replace the bulbs in there. But make sure you have a voltage reducer. Um, just me being in a hurry, not paying attention, uh, doesn't surprise me one bit. So anyway, we're going to throw the seat on here and go for a quick ride. Tires are definitely flat spotted from sitting. It's nice and quiet. Uh, it does have a speed code 3. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's showing 14, 15 miles an hour. Tires are definitely a little low. I'll air those up, but it's quiet. See the tires kind of bouncy bouncy on it. That's just from sitting and uh, being half flat which, of course, those tires are coming off anyway, but... Boy, it sounds good. Brakes are even quiet on it. Okay, I do want to switch gears just a little bit here. Um, I'm not going to get this completely installed today. Um, and the reason being, uh, with the onboard charger and the way this is set up, you got to pop the body up and a few things on the floor. I'm going to be changing the body over on this anyway, so I don't want to do double work for myself. And I want to get these, uh, these tires to fit today. So the lift kit came in, and uh, I'm just doing a 2-inch lift kit on here for these uh, low pro tires is something I've never done before. Just going to bring it up just a little bit, just enough to clear these tires. Hopefully that gives it a good look. Um, if you want to see the rest of this and how this all goes, I will do it on a future episode. Um, but it's pretty simple. Basically, we're going to remove um, the existing plug in where you used your original charger. Um, there's some wires that run back into the computer. We'll take that whole harness out 
and we'll just put this guy in its place which is going to go right there and all you do is plug an extension cord in then and charge uh, the eco battery up so like I said not going to get to that today um, cool little gauge that comes with it we do have to run the wiring and stuff for that I just don't want to have double work for myself so um, we'll set that aside for now the battery's got about 85 percent in which is plenty to run around in for right now so we'll do uh, episode two we'll probably button up some of that so if you want to see how that goes stay tuned for that but for right now let's dig into this uh, lift kit we'll throw that on I'll show you what I bought for a lift kit it's a company I've never used before so let me grab that alright so for the lift kit um, this is a company I've been wanting to try out for a while um, basically because of this right here they claim to make everything right in-house it's called an all sports uh, they're the only ones I know of that offer just a two inch lift kit for the precedent which is what I'm after I really like the looks of everything it looks to be pretty genuine um, few things that maybe I don't like the looks of but I think it's gonna be really strong like these welds and stuff on here and then uh, where your uh, tie rod ends hooked up they're just kinda generic looking but man did they gob the weld in there so I don't think we gotta worry about anything breaking um, we're not really going for looks on that part anyway and then the rear I'm a little I don't know I don't know if I'm excited or nervous about it but rather than put blocks in the rear they actually put these uh, extensions uh, for the leaf springs so uh, it's just gonna make that leaf spring that much longer to bring the back end up so like I said just a company I've been wanting to try for a while I didn't want to have a big huge lift kit like I said being this is my personal cart I just want to bring it up a little bit just enough to stuff those wheels in you probably recognize those it's been on two of my builds uh, and they didn't quite fit right should have learned my lesson the first time tried it again a second time they still didn't fit right so we saved them for this one and uh, we'll throw them on here for now see how that looks want to get that done and then in the next episode uh, we're gonna do some well lots of stuff actually we're gonna tear into this whole thing and go through every nut and bolt probably on this bad boy because we're doing a body kit, we're going to do a mods tower top, of course a back seat kit, redo the dash, get our gauges and everything in there, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get this lift kit in here, see how this looks. So if you're a fan of the channel, you've seen me do this multiple times, but um, if you're watching this for the first time or maybe just trying to figure out how to do some stuff on your own I thought I'd bring you in and show you just uh, quick and uh, this one is super simple to do the lift kit on so it's gonna be four bolts under here 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 and here you're gonna pull your uh, tie rod ends off back that nut out smack that with a hammer that should come out try not to beat on the threads or you'll booger up your threads pull your shock bolt out and your upper control arms and to do the upper control arms you do have to remove the rack which is three bolts pull that out of the way so you can get at that um, upper control arm bolt back there but that'll drop your whole front suspension down and then basically you just start rebuilding it with your lift kit version and reverse uh, reverse the process and put everything back the way it was pretty straightforward Well, I can honestly say I've never had one that bad out of alignment when I got done. <laughs> it's it's really bad, but good thing we can adjust all of that and straighten it all out. Just double checking myself, make sure I didn't put something in backwards or that's pretty severe, but uh hopefully with a few cranks of those heim joints we'll get things uh back in shape here. Okay, got a little crazy uh, off camera here, but this back was really simple. Um, you actually just take the original shackle out and put the longer supplied one in rather than mess with your leaf springs and all that, so it's really simple. We'll see how it looks once I get it down on the ground. They give you these shock extenders to extend the shocks out a little bit rather than put that plate on the top side of the axle. So 
I don't know. Got mixed feelings about it, but we'll see what it looks like when we get it down on the ground here. Seems to uh, have pretty equal ground clearance. Not too high, just kind of right what I was hoping for as far as looks wise. And uh, fits those 205-30-14s, if you're wondering what those tires are. Uh, they're about 20 inches tall and uh, seems to fit those real well. I haven't gone for a test drive yet to see if there's any rubbing issues, but it doesn't look like there will be. There's plenty of room here. The only thing I'm unhappy about is this heim joint. It had to be backed way out to get the alignment right, and that scares me because that puts a lot of pressure on that bolt, so we may have to rethink that or do some reinforcing or something. Um, but other than that, um, sits pretty good. I think I've got the toe and everything set pretty decent, so not too bad. Well, there you have it. Uh, two inch lift kit installed. All in all, it went pretty good. Uh, just went for a quick little test drive. Uh, gained a couple miles an hour just because of the taller tires, of course. And uh, steering wheel is nice and straight. It's just a little bit squirrely, which tells me that the toe probably needs to be adjusted a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks like that one's kicked in a little bit yet, so we'll play around with that and get that just perfect. And uh, on to the next video with this guy. Um, Going to do a complete makeover, of course, like always, and uh, keep this one hopefully around for a little bit. Uh, Going to get ready to move into the new house and the new shop here pretty soon, and uh, want to have a nice cart for that. So lots more to come with this guy so stay tuned uh, if you like the channel stick around maybe hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe the uh, the notification button too that way you know when the next video is coming out so we'll see you next time on cart crazy